In parts 1 to 3, we had looked at headers and footers within the WordPress plugin for Brizzy Free and Brizzy Pro. Let's have a look now at Brizzy Cloud. This is JP here. And for a list of all the videos that we are doing here in nice collection, you can go to lynnbrizzy.brizzy.site. That's lynnbrizzy.brizzy.site. What I have here is a website that I, or a page, that I created for RSVP for a wedding last year. And this is a typical situation that you get in Brizzy Free that you can create only one pagers, which is perfect for landing pages, or in this case, where I just wanted people to RSVP. But can you add a header at the top with links to various sections within the site? For example, I want to add here an About Us so that when people click on it, it will go down here a gallery maybe, arrangements, and then RSVP. Can I do that and make it look like a header? First question is, why can't I do it? Let's go into our project, click on Edit Project and go in there. To be able to do that, naturally, we will look for a menu element. If you go to Add Elements and you look here, mm, no, no element. Yeah. Does that mean it's the end of the road for you with your header? Absolutely not. You can create a very custom header for yourself. So let's do that and I'll show you what I'll do. Let me just see what I've got here. Going to make a few changes here and I will bring in a column and drop it there at the top so it can span the entire section. Right click and delete one of these columns. Let me take it to the top. So where is my, take it all the way away, away you go. And then I am going to bring in a spacer, where spacer? Things have moved around a little bit, I feel, until I see that one. I'm going to drag it because this is a full image. So I want it at the top. I think this is fine. And then I'm going to bring in a button. So let's bring a button and I'm going to drop my button there and triple click on it. I'm going to call it about, let me just put it about us. If the text looks a little bit weird with all the spacing, it is because when I had designed this site, I had applied styling to the button. So that is all done over there, but I'll just make a few changes now. What I want is for it to have no fill. So let's take away the fill. And I also want it to have no icon. Let's leave it for now. Then we go to topography, letter spacing. Let's reduce that to, and I'm going to reduce the size to 16. I think I like that. Now let's go here. And for our hover, I want it to, okay, that's actually fine. That looks good, but let's just change the text to a darker color. Okay, let's see. I don't have a background, so let me go back. Hover, background, put it on this one. And right, let's see now, good. And then I'll go back here to the size of the button and I'm going to Increase the width. Good. And now we've got that about us. So what we want to do is we want to link it to this section. That's my images. For a moment, I thought they had disappeared. Before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this button. So we have about us. We have gallery, arrangements, and RSVP. Let's do that. Let's make it registry instead. So I'm going to do that four times. Gallery, triple click on this one, registry, triple click on this one, RSVP. Okay, now we have a header there. Strictly speaking, yes, we do have a header, Bobby. And what we'll do is go to About Us, click on it, go to the link, and then click on Block. And it will generate the thumbnails for the various blocks. So here, this is, oh, let me just grab it. This is our About Us section. Click on it, and once you see the blue bounding box around it, you know it has been selected. Go to Gallery, click on it, Link, Block. Look for the gallery over here, click on that. And if you make a mistake, you simply click on it a second time, and when that blue bar at the bottom disappears, it has been deselected. Let's select it again. Registry is next. Block, and where is our registry? I, this one. So click on registry, 
and then click on RSVP, link, block, and that's going to be all the way to the bottom. Now we have linked these four in our custom header to various sections on the page. Let's update. I'm going to hit Control S on my keyboard, Command S on a Mac, and then let's view it on the front end preview. Hover works, gallery, registry, RSVP, and of course, the first one is about us. It's not ideal, but it works. And I'll probably make a few changes here. I'm not sure. Let me just close the front end. I set it originally on full height. And now I have custom. Ooh, I have custom height, Peter. So here, I like this one. And then let's go to more settings over here, padding at the top, and I'll reduce that. Let's find that spacer, drag that spacer. Okay, and now we can go back, settings, padding at the top, and give a little bit more. There we go. Now it looks much better. You can add a logo here, add another column, add a logo, and then you have a very splendid looking site there, Nigel. Let's update the work again, and let's go to the bottom. And same thing if you want to create a footer. I mean, that's very elementary. You can click here on footers, but this is Brizzy free. So you're not going to be able to use these footers, but you get ideas for that. So let's go to all categories, add a blank block. And down here at the bottom, you are going to add a footer. And I'm not sure what you're going to put in a footer for a one pager that's just RSVP for a wedding. Maybe see you there, something like that. But we're going to say anyway, it's a footer. See you there. Ah, and you can see the purpose of this footer is actually it rounds off the page. That's why it's called a footer. It's at the end, it's at the foot. And then let's see that one. And this big fat cat of mine, Rocco, is like a magnet. The moment I start working on headers and footers, for some reason, she showed up in almost each of these videos. There we go. You've got your rounded off. We have closure when we get to the end. Send our RSVP, and finally, we have some closure. That is how you're going to create a header with a menu and a footer in Brizzy Cloud free. Check out part five, which is the last one in this series on headers and footers, where we focus on Brizzy Cloud Pro. There we got multi pages, so we can create nice headers and footers to take us to various pages across the site. JP here, signing off.